Welcome to TWTV. This is your host, Travis White, episode four. And let me tell you something. I always say this, but I really mean it this time. I am very thankful for my man AJ here and Big Top Brewing Company. Let me tell you something. El Nino tried to wipe us out. We had to we had to cancel two two guests. One of them, I think, may be in Noah's Ark right now. I'm not for sure. We haven't heard back from him. But AJ said, yo, I'm ready to step up to the plate. And I'm going to tell you about Big Top Brewing Company. So, AJ. Hey. What's up, my man? Appreciate you having me on the podcast, man. Yeah. This, this is great. This well, is awesome. It's awfully nice to have you here, but it's even nicer to make sure that our producer put us this close together. Of course. Because I feel like I feel your energy, and I hope you're feeling the heat coming off this right. man beast right well, here. Better way to drink a beer has been, you know, with your loved ones, you know? Yeah, cool. You always have to drink a beer with your loved ones. You know sure. what? So we talk about family on here, all yeah. right? So, AJ, so tell me what's been going on at Big Top Brewing Company, because like almost every night of the week, y'all got something going on. Oh yeah, we definitely have something going on every night of the week. Uh, starting off on Mondays, we have Jazz Mondays actually. We have a musician that comes in, um, his name is John. Uh, he comes in every Monday, starting around six o'clock, he'll play from six to nine. He has this nice little jazz group going for him. Um, on Tuesdays, we do like a beer bingo. So we have anybody that comes in, grabs a beer, they give you a bingo card. If you win bingo, you win free, uh, free beer after that. And then for every beer you purchase, Get another bingo card, double your chances. So pretty much you have no risk, all the rewards there. Uh, listen, that's what we like. Win, win, win situations with more win. Of course. Okay. And then after that, Wednesday, uh, we run it back with trivia on that. And then uh, you can come in with your team, you come in by yourself, feel more confident by yourself than yeah. the team. That's completely up to you. So uh, low. And so then in first place, you can get like a $25 gift card for any of the beers, any of the food. Uh, second place, you can get an actual one of our packaged beer, six pack or four pack for free. And then uh, third place, I think you get one pint of beer for free. You know, come in. Heck yeah. You did your job. You got third place. You're on the podium. Yeah. Give you a little something. Yeah. You know? Of course, of course. And then um, Thursdays, actually, we have open mic. Um, where it's actually for musicians. If you come in, want to play for the crowd that's here, um, we give you a free pint of beer, kind of get you yeah. hyped up a little bit, bring in your friends, bring in your family, um, do a great job, and then we actually might book you the following weekend or something, get you on stage, you know, right here in front of a major crowd on like a Friday, Saturday night, get your name out there. Dude, sure. that'd be awesome. It kind of gives people, like you said, a chance to, to one, nail it, and two, kind of actually go to something like that where there's a, an opportunity to kind of grow. Exactly. That's dope. Give That's them their dope. foot in the door. You but know, my favorite, but you know my favorite is Salsalita. What is it? Oh, the Salsetto Night on Saturdays. Definitely have one of our DJs come in, plays a lot of different Latin and pop music. Definitely come in, we clear out the tables, you can dance around, have a yeah. great old time, drink some beers, and it's just a Saturday night just for us. Yeah. Stay open a little bit later on Saturdays, probably <clears> like one o'clock. And we'll get things popping here at yeah. the old Big Top. As the kids say, Liddy Titty, I think it is. Yeah, is that's what they're yeah. saying. Okay. I think that's what the kids say. Great. All <laughs> right. Well, now what I'd like you to do, talk a little bit about, because you all, again, y'all have always got something going on, but you have always are brewing up something oh, yes. our absolutely up. wild. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so our head brewer, Joshua, um, he comes in pretty much every other week. He has stuff going on down there in our main location in Sarasota, but also has things going on here. Um, one of our newer beers that should be coming out in the next like three weeks is going to be our um, Melon Ball um, Illuminated Sour. And it's actually going to be made with a little bit of parts of jellyfish that is very edible for you. And it's actually going to glow in the dark whenever we pour it up for you. So I'm really actually excited about that. But you know we always have beers on top regardless. Oh, but that's good. something to definitely look forward to in the next couple of weeks for sure. Oh my gosh. First off, that's going to blow my mind. What? Which is pretty easy to do but this time it's gonna be like mega blown yes. okay so and now aj you've brought us over these yes. flights here yes i have a flight in front of you right here i chose four beers okay um you have no clue what they are no actually i don't so i this want you real. to this try them real. out and yeah. um i want you to kind of give me your perspective of what you think on them and i will tell you like what's in it and then you kind of give me a name because okay we already so named everything our names are you've got cool. your names but, but i get to if i were to name this beer yes then i get to pick my name so yes. okay well i also want to point out that i have a swisher mm -hmm. and i've got my pen and i've got my paper so yeah. without further ado let's get started okay Start first off i also like. want to point out you know my you know my guests keep me merged out straight yes. up that is 
what Travis White does. He promotes, I'm a walking billboard. If you want your company on my head, on my chest, on my back, on my socks, I don't know what else you can put. You're not going to put it on my pants. I don't care. Unless it's some chomp harder booty shorts. You know, I've been waiting for a pair of them. So anyways, without <laughs> further ado, thanks for the gear. All right. So I'm going to start right here. Okay. Okay. And this is looking like, um, you know, it's a nice oh, shade yeah. of, of goldish yellow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I would say probably this was, uh, this looks Anything like maybe something Dutch or citrusy. Maybe, maybe. Okay. So get a little whiff on top of there. Let's uh, see what you got on the you notes know, I got, on top of it. I got one nostril that don't work. So I'm going to go with this guy over here. Okay, okay. And how do I do it? Just get a little sip in swish it? Okay. A little swish it. Go ahead, take it down. Get all the flavors in there. And make sure you get it all. Take it down. Do I swallow it? Yes. Okay. Well, I yeah, didn't know if it was like a cigar. We prefer right. our people to drink. Oh, okay, well, okay. <laughs> so you want them to drink you it? You want them to drink it. The water's there to kind of okay. cleanse the palate afterwards. But I want you to get all those flavors as it goes down your gullet. And then you get all those either with the smell on top and with the taste going down. Okay. So what do you feel about it? I like it. I like it. I'm just trying to figure out what I'd name it. I would name that one... I would name that one the Colonel Sanders. The Colonel you know what Sanders. Saying? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because the the vibe I got off of it was it was like easy like a Sunday morning. Okay. And you know we where I'm from always have fried chicken after church. Okay. So this is going to be the Colonel Sanders. Ooh, yeah. Okay. The and I'm going to spell Sanders. that, but I'm going to spell it. I'm not going to spell it because I forgot how to spell Colonel. But so that one we're not going to write down. Okay? okay. So the Colonel Sanders. The All Colonel right. Sanders. So this squishy. one is actually called our Hazy High Wire. And you're actually correct. It's actually a very refreshing. It's going to be one of our IPAs. So it's going to supposed to have that bitter taste. But the way it was brewed, it kind of cuts that bitterness a little bit more smoother. Yes. And I do like how you said it's about like a Sunday morning type of thing. A lot of people get it for our Sunday brunch. What as happens well. at brunch? I know y'all got it. Oh, Tell yeah. me about the brunch, bro. <laughs> uh, we have the Sunday brunch as well. Um, one uh, time out of the month, we'll do like a drag brunch for it as well. And this place um, is packed. It's packed. It's completely packed. Uh, we have the drag ladies that come over from the UC and they do an excellent show Sunday yes. morning, one at 12.30, one at 3 o'clock. Oh, they do a couple different mm -hmm. sets. So they do kind of the same sets versus they kind of feel at the crowd they're, they're very professional yeah. they come in they see it yeah, they, they feel that exactly. energy they know exactly what the the crowd needs yeah so they come in they do a great show right here in front of everybody um the purchase tickets online first and then after that you just oh, pay you for gotta purchase tickets oh it's five dollars just five dollars but, but still online. i mean but like, it just you gotta reserve a spot you gotta reserve a spot it gets uh, i get literally packed out it gets like completely sold out most of the time yeah that's every great, sunday morning that's and they do an amazing job sunday uh Dry brunch, definitely. Next one is actually next Sunday, the next 27th. Sunday, the, the 27th. 27th. We'll be right back here for another dry brunch for sure. Y'all looking for something to do on Sunday? It's 27th. I may even oh. pop up. Definitely. What do I, how do I order tickets? Um, you can either go on uh, Big Top's Facebook or our Instagram, and you'll find a link either on one of the posts about Drag Brunch, and you'll find a link to the actual website where you can buy that $5 purchase. Because okay. after that, no tickets at the door. You got to have that ticket Boom, yeah. to get in, and it's just a great and Dang, It's a great time for that's sure. That's crazy. Y'all got it packed like that. Is that for both shows it stays packed? Oh, it stays packed for both shows. Dang. Either 12 or 3. It, I mean, with the price it comes with, you get your bottles of mimosas the entire time. And you get your food entree with it. Dang, so you, we feed you, we get you nice and drunk, and it'll be uh, great on time for uh, <laughs> entertainment here. <laughs> I like it. I like it, man. I'm down with it. All right. So I've taken my little swiggy here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's move on to the next gonna one. We're going to go here. The producer told me instead of pointing, I needed to touch. So guess what? We rubbing all over that thing. This is the one I want. Okay. There you go. Okay. Hang on again. Now tell me about the notes on top now. Tell, okay. me, tell me what you're feeling. Okay. That one's got a different. Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. What are you tasting? What are you tasting? What are you feeling? What are you smelling? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to think. That almost has like a. 
That's a little more IPA ish. Is it? Yeah. Um, is it not quite? <laughs> Not quite. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's same thing happens to everybody else that comes in and gets a flight. It's about the adventure. It's okay. about getting oh, the beers dude. and I'm, learning. Hell you know? yeah. Hell That's yeah. our man. That okay. that is our motto. So well, let me let right people here. learn about our okay. different beers. Okay. So what? What's so up on this one? one is actually going to be our key lime wheat ale. Ah. So if you happen to get the scent on top, it has a little bit of graham cracker okay. finish. Now they don't actually use graham crackers, but the, like the hops yeah, they yeah, use yeah, to yeah. brew it gives it that kind of graham cracker. So you're kind of biting into an actual key lime pie. Okay. So okay. it hits you with that key lime and finish it with that graham cracker. Oh, which is on the key lime pie. Mm -hmm. Okay. It gives you that, that crusty feel. So like you drink it, it's yeah. nice and sweet and it's still very light for you. So if I was gonna name this, I would name it, now knowing that, I would name it the Krusty Clown. Krusty the Clown. Krusty the Clown. Because you have a crusty finish. But you're having fun, so it's Krusty the Clown. Okay. Okay. We can get behind the clown part. Okay. You know it's Big Top, so we're yes. big circus oh, team here. I'm sorry. Big circus I'm team. sorry. I forgot I'm a marketer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just comes so naturally. So, yeah, we love the clown right Okay, for deal, sure. deal. All right, now, <laughs> let's see here. Is this, a, is this enough fingers here, buddy? Yeah, you like that. You like that. That's like, uh, what's up? Okay, now, this one's dark. Whoa, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, coffee. This is a definitely this switch out. This got coffee in uh -huh. it. Ooh. Ooh, that's got a coffee with almost a chocolate taste. And if I was going to name that, I would name that, damn it, I got to go to work. I know it's a little long for the can, but because let's pull it out. Yeah, because I gotta it's got go coffee. To work. Yeah, the, the the damn it, I gotta go to work. Okay. Okay. So this one is our Hawaiian lion. So instead of it being <laughs> our <laughs> close, but no, yeah, it's All right. close there. So instead of it being that uh, chocolate, it's actually more of coconut. It's what you were going for there. Ah, uh, so it's a mixture. See, it does. I got mixed see. up, man. Um, it definitely hits you with that coffee yeah. and then a little bit mix of the uh, coconut there. It's a very good blend on yeah. the both of them. So it kind of hits you like you want to go yeah. to work. You know, it's definitely something to either drink at night, get you that energy back yeah. up, or something to drink first thing in the morning. Definitely, for sure. For singing. <laughs> Listen, man. I, yeah. Depends on how you go to work. I you guess know? if you're like, hell yeah, I'm going to work. That'd be the name of that one. Okay, cool. Now, boop, boop, boop. This is the next one. Ooh, that's like a summer spritzer. That's a little okay. light. I mm -hmm. like that. I would mm -hmm. say that, that's got orange in it mm -hmm. or some kind, of, some kind of fruit. It does. Maybe even a tomato. Maybe not to be Maybe made it's not, okay. But not you are on the right track with the citrus okay, flavor. Okay, so there's a citrus one. flavor, and I would name this the Florida, the Florida Frenchman. Ooh. A nod to the hat of the people who brought us the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, I right? like that. I think that it was either them or Italy, but I don't think Italy. Italy was probably like, nah, we're straight. I don't really know what was Honestly, going on. Honestly, you're on the right track. It's actually our trapeze monk, which is actually our Belgian wit. It is actually so it's Belgian European, so, right? Yes, you are on the right track. Yeah, Belgium so, yeah, is no, right over I do there. like the Frenchman for that. So okay. it's supposed to be more of a citrus style. Definitely a little bit exactly. lighter. It's definitely so somebody who wants something a little bit more refreshing in the summertime. Just to sit on, chill at the beach. The Chappies Monk's the way yeah. to go for sure. So I got increasingly better. You got increasingly better, yes. I, I applaud that. Yes. AJ, thank you. <laughs> and now, it's not just beer here. And I got to say, you all have... I think some of the best food in town. And I really yes. mean that this isn't because I'm not a hype guy. I am a hype guy. Actually, I'm a professional hype guy. But what I'm saying is, is that the food here is fantastic. In fact, Colin brought me out an order. Yeah. Can I, um, oh yeah. Okay, so what are these, bro? So this here, so we do have our own kitchen here. So we have appetizers, we have entrees. Um, this here is gonna be our daredevil nachos. Ooh. So I have our loaded nacho yeah. set up. Yeah, hold, it. hold them up. Oh, oh my hold bad, Joe. Yeah, up. okay, we're holding it up. See, I'm gonna be so honest it has with a you. little bit of our Mexican chorizo that our other cook Daniel actually created himself with his own recipe, and then it has a little bit of jalapeno. You see a little bit of the cochita cheese yeah, on what's there. What's this? What's this? Is that a little, feta? Hmm, not feta, cochita cheese. So Ooh, it's uh, a little bit style. Coconut of like, cheese? 
not coconut cheese. It's What'd more you say? Coquera. Coquera. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So it has a little bit of jalapenos, a little bit of cilantro, um, a little bit of pickled onions as well. Oh yeah, definitely hit you all the same. Okay, you just go that's a lot a little, of flavor, uh, bro. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get yourself. I'm gonna get this whole. How's that? Does that encompass everything? Yeah, that encompasses everything. Go ahead and get your little bite in there. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, get it. You getting all those flavors in there, dude? Right. The the meat in this has a perfect, and it has a good finish, and definitely with the jalapeno. Oh, hang on, jalapeno still here. He comes back at you. Yeah. Hang on, that sucker came right back. <laughs> and you could definitely get this That's with the Terminator uh, right there. That's <laughs> or, what I'm calling that. Chicken or pork as well. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that is fire. And I'm going to go ahead and say, dude, this has been a great experience. And I definitely want to give them a shout out. You know how I feel about my Gainesville Hogs Rugby Club. And you guys have been such a supporter. Honestly, it's a big reason why they let me come in here on the fly. AJ sat down with me. No matter what we've asked, they've helped us. So I'm begging you guys to continue to come down here, check out some of their stuff, because this is another company that gets it. It's about supporting the community. We talked about this with Adam Brewer, uh, with Adam's Rib Company. Shout out to them, obviously. But you know, it's about making sure this community is better. So anybody who supports us, I'm going to support them. And you know how I feel about you, brother. Oh no, Thanks, we love y'all. Every time y'all come, for sure, we love y'all. At least somebody likes us. Golly day, man. So <laughs> y'all come and check out our matches. But hey, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the education. Of course, on these brewskis, bro. And, uh, and I'll see you soon, man. Oh yeah, definitely been a pleasure. Definitely coming out and uh, having some beers. And I'll us. see you on Salsalito night. What's it called? <laughs> Salsetto night. Oh yeah, Saturday starting around nine o'clock. Boy, I came out here, but I, I just rolled up on it one night, and I was like, "Yep, I'm heading there." Oh yeah, you hear the music from down the street? Oh, just I know, roll, man. I danced all the way down yeah. here. That's what everybody else does. You exactly. gotta join on in, just get uh -huh. into the conga line. Yeah? Moonwalking <laughs> on the Calabasas, I think it's called. Anyways, yeah. I'm gonna cut out of here. <laughs> TWTV, episode four, Big Top Brewing Company. You know how I feel about y'all. Thanks for coming. Bye.